You know what I don't like about this era of battle rap or the everything involving battle rap, the so-called culture. Number one, the culture is not the fans. The culture is the people who participate within the faction of battle rap, which is a subcategory of hip hop, which is one of the foundations of hip hop. Let me add that. Um, 50 years of hip hop, this is probably the worst, one of the worst years of battle rap, period. Best big stage event this year is Chrome 23, no doubt. Um, Trenches was a, actually a good card, even with the sabotaging and all of that shit. The thing I don't like about this shit is, excuse me. Y'all have taken the whole drama and the commercialism, and y'all have done exactly what I predicted y'all would do. Instead of learning from the people who's at the top, the Luxes, the Math Hopfas, the Clips, the Hitman Hollas, the Murder Mooks, instead of learning from them and mimicking that shit, their blueprints, you guys mimic each other. This is the most crab-in-the-barrel-minded group of battle rappers I have ever seen. I never saw this before. I never saw a bunch of grown people, 30 plus, 25 plus, 30 plus, almost 40 year olds, some of them, in a group just gossiping, fussing, fighting, arguing about absolutely nothing. None of it adds on to their career. You can say what you want about Lux. You can say what you want about Hollow. You can say what you want about any one of the top, top, top of the crop people in the ring. Outside of that ring, they got their shit together. Well, at least they are known for having their shit together. In case somebody want to say, oh, you don't know for a fact this and that. When they get in that ring, it feels like they got their business together. It feels like they're throwing an event. It feels like they are... The person that you tried to get all of these years to battle. It don't feel like they chasing nothing. It don't feel like they got to fuss and argue and fight. It don't feel like they got to gossip all day. Don't feel like that. So whether you you say like it's more of having your shit together than just business. Your fucking mind. Y'all mindset is like that of children. And then you want to say, yo, it's the fans. The fans could do whatever they want to do. We pay for your career. You do not exist without us. We didn't make the culture. We paid for the culture. Y'all made the culture. And we going to pay for the shit we like to see. It don't fucking matter who's doing what. That's the point. That's the part that y'all don't understand. Like, this is run by us. It's developed by y'all. You guys are developing this gossip, loving hip hop bullshit. And this is the reason why I title my stuff Love and Battle Rap. Because this is the same exact things that I saw there. Do you know the difference is these people are on camera. They're on a major network and they, they fuss fight and they get paid thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Some more than others. You guys do this shit for free. And the only thing y'all could come up out of y'all business. The only thing y'all could come up with for a business is t-shirts, hats, maybe some shoes. It's the same shit we done seen a thousand and one times. Why don't you build up, like, for the people who rap, I could actually give some good advice to y'all. I'm not going to say my advice no more on here because I, I tried to get this advice to, like, JC, and I'm not, I'm just not a big enough voice in the culture to really make an impact. But boy, oh boy, y'all be doing some astronomically stupid shit. Y'all don't say nothing. You're not putting on quality performances. You're not come coming up with good promotion tactics. You're not coming up like when we see you on stage, you did all of this. And then we see a bullshit battle anyway. You niggas is still not completing rounds. I'm talking about people who's been here less than 10 years. Y'all still not completing rounds. Brand new faces is having struggles. I could see somebody um over time losing the feel for it. 
a brand new face trying to get up there and out there. Like, bro, do y'all not understand that as much as y'all say, oh, you use your brain. People use their brain in chess. People use their brain to put a building together. People use their brain to uh, write up plans for a movie. Write up plans for a city, a development. People use their brain. Why do y'all say in battle rap, oh, it's a mental sport. Everything we do in life has some kind of, like, you need your brain to do everything. You don't use it more just because you're a battle rapper. What the fuck are y'all talking about? This ain't no nuclear science shit. You are rhyming words and coming up with rhyming concepts. That's all you're doing. Stop struggling with that shit you should be good at doing by now. You haven't mastered that yet. You know why? Because you probably battle too much. You're not actually working on your your craft as a whole. You're just constantly in the ring. That's not the same. Take a step back. Work on things. Do other things. Add on to your mind. How are you talking about you? Oh, it's a mental sport. The fans don't understand. Blah blah. Stop generalizing the fans. You don't know what the fan all the fans do on their spare time. You think every last fan has never wrote anything? We never wrote anything. We never been to any class. We never had to perform. We never had to do anything but watch battles. What the fuck are y'all talking about? Arrogant, egotistical, unrealistic. Oh, boy. Get back to the bars, people. All I'm asking is get back to good material. I'm tired of everybody sounding the same. God damn. Don't make fun of the people who are bigger than you if you're not even close to ever becoming them. On any level in, in of anything in life. Niggas be the best in your city and never been on a radio station in your city. Mad famous radio stations. Niggas be from Jersey, New York, and never been nowhere. People be from Detroit, all kind of. Y'all be from Cali, never seen you with no Cali artists. All of that shit. What is wrong with y'all? How are you guys rappers and don't, not known for rapping? You known for a nigga putting you on stage. And then got a nerve to shit on the people who represent themselves in a positive way. Manner, like, look at how much y'all went after Easy instead of trying to learn. Well, out of all of the bullshit he do, let's look at the good things that he would that he did accomplish. Same thing with Surf. Same thing with uh, Luck. Same thing with Hollow. Same thing with everybody who's actually making an impact in the culture. You guys make fun of them for shit that you could gossip about. Never acknowledge the fact that, yo, these people have made it further than we ever will make it, probably. I say all this to say, you niggas is haters.